Hey y'all, welcome back to The Pink Envelope. I am preparing for a 4th of July party. It's family, friends, and mostly kiddos. But I thought I would take you along with me. I'm gonna decorate the house, get some snacks and stuff together, um, get the yard ready, and thought we'd hang out while we do it. So, let's go. I absolutely love this space in the entry of my home. I still have my Memorial Day decor up and I'm starting to add my more 4th of July specific items. So I decorate uh, the week before Memorial Day weekend and then I leave it up through June, Flag Day is in June, and then it goes through July 4th where then I take it down and pack it away. So we get to enjoy it for about a month and a half, almost two months, but I do mix it up in the middle. And that's where we're moving into now. So I didn't want to go out and buy more things. I'm trying to be very aware of my budget, my storage opportunities, all the things. And so I ordered these little pinwheels on Amazon as a cute little touch, something that expands big and adds some depth, color, and texture, but then folds down small and is easy to store. And I am loving it. So now that I know that I love these, I'm going to finish putting the rest of those together and hang them on the wall here. I'm also gonna incorporate them on the fireplace mantle. We'll go look at that in just a sec. And then I'm gonna add a few more July 4th specific items that I have to just kind of round out these items. These beads I've had for forever. The stars you see here, there's one and there's one. I picked those up at At Home. I also picked this guy up at At Home. The little gnomes are from Amazon. Just really cute and easy things to add to the home decor I already had and add to the items that my subscription boxes had already sent me. Uh, I'll link all those items below just in case you wanna check them out, but let me go grab the pinwheels and start putting those together for us. And of course, I had to decorate my mantle. I always decorate my mantle. It's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, this is still the same design that I did, well, kind of, with a few tweaks. 
uh, in my Deco Created New Americana video. So if you wanna see a full step-by-step -step on how I decorated this guy, go up to this video, we walk through everything. What I'm gonna show you today is a few tweaks I'm doing to make it look a little bit different. Of course, I'm gonna use those same pinwheels that I built out in the entryway up here to add that continuity. I'm adding in my decor items like this pennant flag, and I'm gonna add a few more items that I picked up at various stores like Hobby Lobby, Joann's, and At Home, which by the way, slim pickings at the end of May, early June. I really had to piece these pieces together, which has made me so thankful for my home decor boxes. Okay, check this out. Okay, so I'm gonna do an entryway, not the other entry, but like my sofa back area with snacks for the kiddos, like a variety of things, fruits and sweets. And so I wanted to do a watermelon. We love the watermelon around here. So I'm gonna cut up some watermelon. I'm gonna bring some little mini cupcakes over, some blueberries, some strawberries, all those typical red, white, and blue fruits. Um, I started on the cutting of this watermelon because watching me cut things is, could be quite torturous for a lot of you. But is it true that when you get a watermelon, you're supposed to look for the yellow because that means it's sweeter versus a white patch means it's less sweet? That's stuck in my head and I haven't looked it up and was wondering like, is that true? Because if so, I got us an amazing watermelon at H-E-B. And I got to use my cute little watermelon knife. So let me slice this up real quick and we'll take it over to the sofa back area in the entry. So just recently, Kendall Kardashian was cutting some food and it was hilarious and she's getting lynched. I don't know if you could steal a clip from that and plug it in. Just gotta chop up some cucumber. It's pretty okay. easy. Here you go, girl. Be careful, because I cut I nicked myself the other day. I don't know, I'm kinda scared. There you go. I'm not professional whatsoever. Hey chef, do you wanna cut this up for her? Oh. But that could be funny. That was a small watermelon I bought. That was not a big one. Um, but I also see why grocery stores charge so much for slicing watermelon. It's kind of therapeutic for me, but it is definitely a task. As you notice, I had this cloth always folded right here. A really juicy watermelon will keep rolling off. So just fold a cloth like this and it'll absorb it all and you won't end up with a big mess. So if you notice, I was doing a very specific style of cut. I love that cut for entertainment with people. It's really easy for kids to pick it up and eat it. It looks pretty when people are over. So very specific watermelon cut. 
but you'll have noticed also that it's a slightly wasteful cut style. So if you have kiddos running around the house, you can pass about now and have them eat them. I actually have a very different form of eliminating waste, and I'm gonna show you what I do with the ends of the watermelons. So this is the little area set up for the kids to grab snacks. It's like central in the house. So they can go out the front door and out the back door. And as they're passing through and having fun, they can grab snacks. And so I've got a mix of things. The watermelon we just cut, obviously I want to feature over here, but I have some sweets we're going to add in as well. That's it. Ready to host everybody for 4th of July. Thanks for hanging with me and decorating with me. It was fun to have you guys along. Comment below and tell me what fun things do you have planned for 4th of July? Are you chilling at home? We're chilling at home and I am super happy for it. Are you headed out somewhere on an adventure, visiting family, visiting friends? I'd love to hear what fun things you have planned up your sleeve for one of our favorite holidays we celebrate here in the Pink Envelope household. If you have not already, please subscribe to the channel. We do a lot of subscription box unboxings, but then I really love to bring you guys along and show you how I'm using all the different items I receive in those boxes in my home every day, all day. It's absolutely such a blessing to have so many awesome boxes passing through my door. I hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing 4th of July. And if you subscribe to the channel, I'm going to see you later. Bye y'all.